soil has several layers and all of these layers are working together and interact. You have to know the whole story to be able to describe the operation of your soil system. In general, everybody has, has a sample from the upper 20-30 cm. Depending on what is right below that, that plow layer, it may stop the water infiltration, it may drain all the water that comes to the root zone, so it can really have a great impact on the manageability and the productivity, all kind of properties on the soil and on the farming activities. Soil sealing is one of the worst things uh, the humankind ever did. We do have a lot of problem with flooding. Uh, we are altering the climate because all the soil surfaces are just covered with concrete, with houses, all kind of open air, open soil surfaces are just disappearing. If there is a rain, there is nowhere to infiltrate. It immediately runs in a fast speed towards the surface channels, the natural ones, the creeks, the rivers, and it starts flooding immediately. There is no soil moisture in the system, so uh, soil moisture or a moist soil, it's cooling the air above uh, in the summertime. It's heating the air above in the wintertime. Just try to calculate how much energy is spent in, in a habited area just to uh, condition our life. Cooling, heating, everything, and I'm not even talking about the air humidity. So all this kind of system is blocked here. The soil surface is sealed and there is no biology, no activity, no buffering, nothing. I think that is one of the most critical risks of not just the soil but the whole human environment. And if we leave this built-up area and we go back to this naturally vegetated or farmed area, then one of the most important is the physical degradation of the soil structure. It immediately uh, means that uh, the soil porosity is decreased. And not just the, the total volume of the soil porosity, but the pore diversity. There are no micropores to hold enough water. When there is too much water, the water cannot go into the soil. So it stays on the surface. Because there is no water that comes into the soil, it is not there. We have to go back to irrigate the system because there is no water. We got rid of them with all kind of engineering uh, operations. And then in the summertime, there is a drought. And this is just because we just degraded our soil structure. And this basically goes back to the third point that at the end of that, or as a result of, of the structural degradation, all the chemical uh, degradation processes start. We lose a lot of nutrients just because of the, the lack of oxygen. Uh, any small amount of water oversaturates these uh, very low porosity soils. The infiltration is very slow, so any more intensive rain just get ponding on the soil surface and then uh, oxygen is not available for the microbiological activity and uh, nor for any kind of crops we are producing which really require a lot of oxygen in the root system and if we just block it it will never reach it and then all the nutrients we apply on the field by the nitrates it's going to be used to uh, provide oxygen for the microbes uh, to burn the organic material and then the most important by the nitrogen is just simply uh, let it go back to the atmosphere without any use. As we take away the organic matter from the farmlands instead of giving it back to the soil, there is no food for the microbes. If the microbes does not actively build their environment, there is no soil structure. The most important part of any practice should be to give as much organic material back to the soil as we can get, even extra. We have to make sure that our organisms can get enough food, enough drink, to really start conserving and uh, restructuring the soil system to go back to its healthy operation. And I think this is one of the most important things. What I would support as well, again, all this green manure. So we should never leave our soil surface uncovered. I think it's, it's very, very important. Even on a dry area, we have to have vegetation, 
because the vegetation creates a lot of roots. Roots makes a lot of root channels. It creates the structural elements. And of course, around the root system, it really feeds all the microbes, creates a, a very microbe supportive environment. Uh, a lot of uh, extracts, what, what the microbes uh, like, eat and, and drink. So I think those two things are the most important. And then, of course, uh, as much as we can, we have to lower the physical touch of the soil. So the minimum use of steel, I think it helps a lot.